Hello everybody, we have another one of these videos. So I'm not really too sure what the title of this is going to be and I know Christmas is right around the corner and I don't want to give any bad news, but this is something that I've seriously been really worried about for a while now. And like I've said before, it's just good for me to talk about these things and you guys have shown a lot of love for these kind of videos when I'm just able to say what I'm thinking and just get it off my chest. So I really appreciate that. So this is me doing it again. So today I'm going to be talking about COPPA and the reasons behind why I'm actually going to be taking a break from uploading things like Roblox and Minecraft until further notice. I don't really know when. Just to be really blunt, there's a possibility that I might never upload it again. I don't know. Even like Pokemon. I don't know. If you guys don't know what COPPA is, it's the Child's Online Privacy Protection Act. It was implemented like 20 years ago. Before I say anything, I just want to say this is all opinion. And the only thing I'm talking about is my opinions on the things that I have seen, read, heard. COPPA, there is a possibility that if you do not cooperate, you could get fined up to $42,000 for every single video that doesn't go with it by the way i have like 3,000 videos and if you guys don't know what that is that's about 120 million dollars i haven't made that much money on youtube nowhere nowhere close to that <laughs> one thing i have been hearing is that F the ftc that is enforcing coppa they're not going after people like it's not some type of crazy hunt like we've seen before where it's this kind of analogy that's shooting fish out of a barrel and that's something that really scared me. And it just scared a lot of people across the platform. Because when I hear that, not only am I thinking, oh my gosh, maybe there's a possibility I can get fined, but also, wow, I can't continue doing my job anymore. I can't do what I love doing anymore. Now, I will say over the past couple of months, I've been super worried the first time that I heard about COPPA with everybody talking about it. I'm a lot more confident now. However, I'm gonna look up this tweet because this like made me happy but it also confused the heck out of me okay so i can't find this tweet i don't know if it got deleted or something but basically it was a tweet youtube was talking about how if you upload video games you're fine but uploaded vlogging or something like that it was like a man statement and it was like what do you mean this is affecting so many people's lives why are you just giving it eh? so when i saw that i kind of thought okay well i'm still scared even though you say i'm okay just because it seems like even you really don't know. This is my livelihood. This is thousands and thousands of people's livelihoods. And here we are freaking out over this and we're just getting like a, eh, you might be fine. So this is all taking effect in January in the very beginning of the ne year next year. And also what people have to decide to do is they either have to say that their channel is only for kids or it's not for kids and there's no mixture. For whatever reason, the FTC gave them the option of doing a mixture audience, but we don't get that. And by the way, if you decide to put the, I only want to make my channel for kids, it was said you would lose up to 80% of your revenue. Now it's looking like 40%, but still that's massive. But then if you don't do kids content, then you're also not getting as good of ads. But what's really effed up is even though that I say, okay, my channel is not just for kids. I play Fortnite, for example, a game that's rated T, but a lot of older people love watching it. They go, your thumbnails are pretty colorful. You said fun in the video, fun in the title or something like that. So here's a fine because it's for kids. So I just want to use this as an example. If you go on Twitch right now and you type in Fortnite or basically I, I'm just going to be straight up probably any game at all. The top five streamers are going to be people over the age of 18, more than likely, probably over the age of 20, 25, even maybe these things are kids games, but they're not always just played by kids. I'm worried because I am considered playing a kid's game of Fortnite, even though it's not rated for kids. Take Pokemon, for example. Everybody freaking loves Pokemon, yet it's a very kid thing, and you FTC could easily go and say, hey, this is a very kiddish thing, and we're going to fine you for it, even though I would like to say that probably a huge, huge portion of the Pokemon fan base is older people that grew up with it. I'm the same way. Now I'm gonna go into the Roblox Strucid Fortnite and the Minecraft stuff, the Roblox Strucid Fortnite on my main channel and the Minecraft stuff on my second channel because when I first made those videos, they did really, really well. And not only did I wanna do more because they were doing really well, but I actually got DMs from friends that are my age, by the way, that tell me they loved watching it because it was like satirical. It was stuff that they used to play 
and they just liked watching me play it now. And I usually don't get that. Like my friends and stuff think it's really cool that I'm doing this Fortnite stuff, but I usually never get DMs from them or just talk to them about it. But as soon as I upload like these very different weird games or not really weird, but just something that I haven't usually played, they like it and they'll message me about it. These are older people. These aren't kids. Yes, of course, I'm definitely getting kids, but it's also older people. Another big example is like me watching anime or watching, I just started watching Yu-Gi-Oh from way, way, way back then. I'm older, I'm 20 freaking four and I just like watching it. So the reason why I'm saying I'm holding off on the Roblox and the Minecraft is because I'm going to be watching other people that tend to upload it and see what kind of happens to them because I personally don't know what's gonna happen and so I'm just going to more than likely stick with Fortnite. Even though, like I said, it seems like YouTube is saying you'll be okay, but I, again, am not 100% sure. If you're also not aware, YouTube was fined around $200 million to selling basically this information on kids, which is completely illegal, which is bad, of course. But now it's being put on us. We're the ones that could possibly get in trouble. There's YouTube kids, but for some reason, YouTube has decided not to just mention that YouTube kids is for kids and that you have to be over the age of, I think, I believe 13 to even sign up for YouTube. What the hell is happening? I understand the intentions of the FCC for COPPA are you know, good, the intentions are good because our kids are very vulnerable, especially nowadays with how many creators there are and how much like parents just don't look after what their kids watch. But a very large portion of people just fake how old they are. I did it for the longest time. I was taught not to show my birth date, not to show my real name when I was growing up for anything I did on the internet. I didn't show anything personally at all and you bet your butt when i noticed that if i just put my number of age at 18 that i could just go along with the, whatever website i was using that i could just keep continuing to use it i i would do that because i wanted to see and what happened when my parents found out about these things they took it away from me not only can the ftc not prove these things they can't prove every single person's age that watches our videos but also at the same time how do you account for people that are logged out how do you account for people that are watching the screen? I could be watching a certain YouTube video that's very edgy and totally not for kids, but I have my little cousin behind me who's watching the video. And the reason why I wanna talk about the faked age thing too is because like my demographic is actually very high in age compared to what a lot of people would think. And it's really weird for me to say this, I actually love that I can say it, but literally my most dedicated fans are girls in college. Like I would never expect something like that, but Instagram, Twitter, everything that is like super high impressions of people that are messaging me daily or posting things about me are girls in college. So that's another reason why like I'm kind of like not getting as worried is because of things like this, but it still scares me knowing that there's a possibility of me getting fined for like Minecraft and Roblox because that stuff is way more kiddish compared to Fortnite. Fortnite actually has an above rating for teens as compared to the other ones that's for everyone. I also think Day and TDM also came up with a really good solution and I hope it actually gets introduced so not all of this is as crazy or insane. But if you enter your age and you are under the age of 13, whatever, you're a kid, you have to put in your parents' email. I remember trying to get in like Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, something like that. And I remember I had to get my parents' information to put down because I entered, my age was too low. And I'm gonna go on a little bit of a tangent here, but my God, parents are so stupid. Nobody looks out for their kids anymore. It's ridiculous. It should not rely on me to determine what you guys are watching. It should not be put on my shoulders what your kids watch. I'm not a parent. I am not a babysitter. I am not a counselor. The internet is just exploding every single day. Just in this year alone, the year of 2019, the amount of information that has been stored in past, just this year alone, is literally all information from the beginning of information to last year, all that combined is literally this year. The internet is exploding and parents, it just amazes me how nobody understands this. Watch what your kid is watching. Have locks. See what they're looking at. Look at their history. Probably more than likely, your seven-year-old more than likely knows how to delete their search history. But this is why I'm worried. It's why I'm upset. And it's why I appreciate so much of people that are supporting me on other ways, like my creator code, my apparel and things like that. It's because this is one of those instances that everything 
can just poof. Everything could be gone. I don't know what's going to happen next year. Like I said, I'm a little bit more confident, but it's freaking scary when you get a knock on your door and somebody says, hey, by the way, your job, you're never going to be able to do it again next year. It is a little bit nice knowing that YouTube is somewhat trying to communicate, but it just seems like everything is so vague. And even the cop a law itself is just ridiculous. Like I said, if you have certain words or a certain saturation, you can get hit with a fine. And it's so vague. I will say from everything I've seen, read, heard, it really seems like they're going after those like Spider-Man and Elsa and slime weird kind of YouTubers, like that kind of stuff. Another thing that I was seeing as far as FTC with a copy of regulations, as far as court cases and things like that go, it really seems like they're going after things that are very much justified. So that's a little bit nicer to know. They're not going to go after me for showing, you know, a little saturated thumbnail of a Fortnite character. I have like a huge just list of stuff I need to talk about. Ash, no. Chewing on Peely. I, I can't, I probably can't even show this. I will get fined. It's a kid's toy. It's a dog's toy. <laughs> That's symbolism. Something to be played with or seen by someone. It's being used for something else by something else. That was smart. I, I swear it was. That was also educational. I don't know how COPPA is going to be with education. <laughs> so I'll say this again to kind of wrap everything up. It's just going to be kind of a little bit of a break. If you guys have noticed, I haven't been uploading like Pokemon or Minecraft or even Shrucid Roblox or the Fortnite thing, whatever, just because I'm worried. I don't know how things are going to be. So I'm just trying to see how everything else is with everybody else that has kind of built that fan base and can really upload that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for letting me get this off my chest. I, d I don't know what's going to happen. I just want to say a quick thank you to, again, everybody that's just been supporting me. Just in case something bad goes on next year and things get a little bit tougher, I definitely know that I can keep continuing because I just have a super sick fan base. This is why it is so important to help out the people that you love watching. If you find them entertaining, use their code, buy their apparel, Patreon, whatever it is to support them to keep going, please do it. All my stuff is in the description. If you guys wanna help me out a little bit more, I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry for this being like right before Christmas, but I just needed to get it out there. Beginning of next year is gonna be super confusing for all of us, prayers and positive vibes and whatever you got. I wanna keep my dream job, I freaking love it, and I'll do whatever I can to keep making it happen. Yep, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, like, comment, yeet, subscribe. Can I use yeet? Don't take yeet away from me, Kappa. Just realized I can't use slang. Slang is something too. Oh, these mother